Hi there, this is Marlena, and I want to share with you a couple of feng shui tips for 2021. Amazingly so, today's date is 2121. So I figured I'd upload this incredible video for you, and I hope that you will subscribe to my channel here and keep uh, the updates coming through okay of what is happening in your life so comment below um, if these videos have assisted you in any way share them with people um, because it will help other people as we share these incredible things with each other we are sharing love we are sharing joy and we are bringing happiness to each other's lives okay we've had enough with 2020 and now we're going to be going into the next year here beginning february 4th and the 12th of february is chinese new year so a lot of people are going to be feng shuiing their home and changing their cures around so in the left photo you see the chinese coins now they can be in a bag when you purchase them um, or they can be just as they are shown in the string. Either way, that's okay. Now, these should be placed in the north sector of our homes and the southeast this year where the two and the five stars are going to be located. The two star is an illness star which is located in the north and we want to stay out of the north as much as possible. Okay, so what we can also do in the north um, is place big metal, okay, big metal items there to knock this star down, okay, and also in the southeast corner of every home. These two stars are going to come in. Uh, we've seen enough of the COVID, we've seen enough of heart problems, high blood pressure, and strokes, from last year so we know better now right to listen to the instructions given all right now in the southeast that is usually the money corner that is going to be afflicted with a star of like loss robbery grief things like this we want to take care of that immediately yes we do so you can utilize um, using the Chinese coins or metal Okay, you can place metal. A dog dish is great. Make sure it's very clean. Okay, you can also use a salt water cure in that area. Okay, so that takes care of that. If you have any questions, just ask me. Okay, write them in underneath the video. I will get back to you as soon as possible. In the um, photo on the right, we are looking at what looks to be somebody's um, meditation room perhaps where you can see that they have um, a nice beautiful white chair right uh, lots of natural sunlight coming in um, another lower plant there they seem to have a salt water bowl there a candle and a beautiful uh, gemstone sitting there on a pile of books um, so we're looking at this picture right here and we're saying, okay, what do we see? Above the chair on the ceiling, you see beams. Okay, so with the beams, they're using the cure of this lovely plant. Can you see how the plant is coming up and over their chair? So as they sit in that chair, that plant is being used as a cure. Now, if you have beams over your head, it's usually said to you to paint them the same color as the ceiling or put up a canopy. Never sleep under beams. Never sit directly under beams. Okay, they can give you headaches and other things. Okay, so with this cure, we can see how they utilize this beautiful, lovely plant, which is bringing earth energy into the room the white chair is metal energy and wood 
Okay, so there's wood energy, earth energy, metal energy. There's a candle, that's fire energy, right? So they're bringing that all in. On the table with the books, you also see a bowl, which is salt water cure. So they're bringing in the energy of water as well. So each room, you want to balance it out. But you also want to make sure that you have cures in place. And this happens to be a very easy cure to use a, you know, pretty large size plant. It is also noticed in the backyard is a high fence, okay, blocking off some energy from a possible road or neighbors, you know, homes, privacy. But also this plant here can be a second cure, okay, for any homes that might be pointing right directly at them when they sit in a chair, okay? The corner of a house, um, a cactus plant out there would also be pointing at them. So they, you know, they would be afflicted. So that plant can be utilized for many reasons. It's also bringing, you know, beautiful life into the room. It's bringing lovely, lovely air purifying okay benefits so that's another thing where plants bring in but we also want to note that plants thrive okay in certain sections of our spaces right never put a plant in your bedroom okay um you do not want to put the plant in your bedroom you do not want to put plants okay in different areas where it's saying to cut down on the earth energy okay the east usually um my plants thrive in the east okay outside and also i found that they are thriving in the west okay and that's where the sun comes up and goes down but i live in the tropics so these plants are made to sustain you know their life there I put plants in the front, in the north, and for me, they do not really survive. So I noticed that, and I learned this by, you know, trial and error, okay? But also with feng shui, you want to feng shui your home in a balance, okay? Now this year, um, I'm going to share again on this video, for this year, the west um, sector is going to have the eight star, which is the wealth star. So please clean up the west areas of your home, get a compass um, and find out directly where the west is for your space and your office, all right? Also, um, find out where that is located, okay? The south is gonna have a very um, blessed, you know, energy flowing through it this year and the center of your home. So what I say is the areas there, the center and the west definitely should get a money bowl, okay? <laughs> a blessing bowl, something like that. Something where you can, you know, put out a message to the universe that I receive wealth, all right? And put up our cures to stop the robbery star, to stop the sickness star. Because when you get sick, it can take your finances away, right? Also in the Northwest, okay, which is the clients coming in, the man of the house, the breadwinner, okay, that also has an issue with backstabbing robbery. So we want to protect that area for this year. Now, you usually, that is a metal corner, okay? So we usually have metal cures there. Um, this year, we're going to be able to put a fish tank there, um, water elements, okay? So we're gonna work on that. So find out where these areas are in your home and you know, start to clean them up, especially the center, because the center of your home, that energy vibrates through the entire home. Okay, so get rid of the clutter and clean up the center. Make the center look wealthy, very beautiful. 
all right? You can get a feng shui cure for the center as well, right? And for every other center of the rooms, I like to clean out the center of every room, all right? I noticed that each room has, you know, north, south, east, west, right? And northwest and southwest and southeast, you know, and northeast. So I'm saying, well, each room to me needs to be feng shuied properly, okay? And my kua number, all right? So locate your kua number, which is K-U-A, by your birth date and year and read up on that and find out where your um, lucky areas are. They may happen to be in one of the lucky sectors, okay? And that's the one you want to be in the most this year, okay? So future luck is going to be in the north, um, let me see, that's northeast, okay? So that's a nine star there. And you want to place um, wealth there as well. So whatever um, brings wealth to you, to your mind, okay? Whatever reminds you of wealth, all right? It could be some money in a beautiful bowl or a vase, right? Um, whatever that is. I know for me, that's my bedroom, okay? So I don't want to set up my business there. But I do want to spend more time there. But I also want to tell you, um, <clears throat> there's an energy of Jupiter. So you do not want to sit facing directly in that direction, facing Jupiter, uh, having a face off with Jupiter. So if your bedroom's there, or your office is there, or a room that you use a lot, okay, just do not face your body facing towards the corner, okay, where Jupiter is coming in. Um, Jupiter has your back this year, okay? So you want to sit with your back, you know, towards Jupiter and letting that energy know that they can have your back and watch out for you and your future, right? So <clears throat> this has been a few moments of just me sharing a couple of quick tips with you you can check out the other videos on this channel um, and let me know, you know, if you like them, if they're helping you um, and what else you would like some assistance with. I thank you so much for joining me here. This has been an incredible life journey. So I want you to jump in, jump into joy with me right now and as we jump into 2021, we are going to, you know, set our mind, our intentions to achieving our goals. So whatever your goals are, take steps today. First, feng shui your home, okay? And get your environment ready, okay, to thrive. Not survive, we're going to thrive. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you again. Blessings to you and your family.